What's up guys, it's time. Official time, the Samsung Galaxy S10 has been pretty hot in the news lately. Everything, and I mean everything we're gonna be talking about in this very video is official. Coming from Samsung, no leaks or rumors. This is everything that happened today and this week. Brace yourself, cause you're about to enter the future. First up, the cameras. We know through leaks and rumors that Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus will rock triple cameras on the back. Now it's confirmed. Samsung has officially announced their first triple camera phone aka the Samsung Galaxy A7. Yep, the A7 did came after all despite them launching a phone named AA 2018 in the beginning of the year. Anyways, it's a triple camera phone. We got the main 24 megapixel sensor that has f1.7 aperture. It's a brand new camera sensor for the mid-range phone with a 5 megapixel depth sensing sensor for those beautiful light focus shots and then an ultra wide 8 megapixel sensor is also there this is great and this confirms that Samsung is working on a flagship triple camera setup for the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. The S10 will have the most complete camera setup because you will see the optical zoom and wide angle lens along with the variable aperture beast in the middle all on one phone. That has never been done before, so S10 will have that. The wide angle lens on the S10 will be a 16 megapixel one uh, compared to the 8 megapixel of the Galaxy A7, so everything will be on a next level. Now, this Galaxy A7 phone is a mid range phone. It's going to cost around $400 in Europe, and it's coming to India really, really soon, so hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on this soon and do all kinds of videos. But yeah, the triple cameras are confirmed to happen with the S10 and S10 Plus. Next up is the confirmation of the four Galaxy S10 models. We know from the start that Samsung is working on three Galaxy S10, three freaking S10 models, and a one special 5G variant for the selective markets. All of this is now confirmed. Huge shout out to XDA developers for finding the Galaxy S10 model official code names in the XML file for the official Android 9.0 Pi based Experience 10.0 UI. Yes, Samsung's Android 9.0 UI is actually leaked for the Qualcomm version of the S9 Plus. So soon we'll see a beta for the Galaxy S9 Exynos version. Uh, so I'm waiting for that. I will definitely make a video uh, covering all the new features and everything. But from this official Experience 10.0 version we are now confirmed that galaxy s10 is coming in three flavors with one ultra premium 5g model so total of four galaxy s10 models are coming so here is what these model specs are we have the beyond zero model this is the samsung galaxy s10 light we're not sure about its name but uh, it's going to have a 5.8 inch display a flat 5.8 inch display with a side mounted fingerprint scanner and a single rear camera on the back. Now, Samsung has announced the Galaxy J6 Plus phone that actually comes with a side fingerprint reader. For the first time on a Samsung phone, we have a side fingerprint reader. So it is expected that this Beyond Zero Galaxy S10 Lite model could also have the side display fingerprint scanner. And of course, it can have the single rear camera or dual we're not exactly sure about that but it's going to be the cheaper s10 model it will most likely compete with the iphone 10r the beyond one samsung galaxy s10 is expected to come with a 5.8 inch edge display and a dual rear cameras now we have heard that this model will also going to have triple camera sensors but as posted on xda it could actually have dual cameras because samsung wants to make the s10 plus to stand out more compared to the other models the beyond do s10 plus will rock the largest samsung flagship display coming at 6.44 inch display size and a triple rear cameras on the back and also double front facing camera on the front which is crazy so five cameras will be there on the s10 plus model and then the same beyond do model will come in a 5g flavor as well it's gonna have identical specs to the beyond do model but with a modem capable of supporting 5g and this 5g model will be launched in qualcomm and exynos flavors in different markets where the 5g is available so this leaked official document coming from the official software confirms that four galaxy s10 models are indeed coming now the document doesn't actually reveal the specification but this is what we have based on the current rumors and everything but it is confirmed that lots of s10 
four of them are coming. Now, Ice Universe has further taken this to the next level on Twitter by posting the actual model numbers. So SMG70 is going to be the Beyond Zero Galaxy S10 Lite 5.8 inch flat display version. The SMG973 aka Beyond One will going to have a 5.8 inch edge display and the SMG975 aka Beyond Two is the S10 Plus model with a 6.44 inch display and five cameras. And this will also going to be the model with the 5G connectivity enabled for certain markets. Next up is the most important and that is the design of the Galaxy S10. Earlier this week, speaking to the Chinese media, DJ Ko, the freaking CEO himself, confirmed that Galaxy S10 will have a massive, and I mean massive design change. He specifically mentioned the word design. This is Galaxy S9 Plus. Imagine what massive means in Samsung's dictionary. It could actually be a full bezel-less phone with the in-display camera. We don't know the specific what he actually meant by massive. But what we can definitely say is that the bezels will be cut down significantly compared to the S9 family. So thanks to the CEO himself, it is confirmed that the Galaxy S10 will going to have a massive design change. Samsung has already shown the sound emitting display that we'll probably see on the S10 that has this sound technology built into the display. That will get rid of the need for an earpiece and that leaves the front camera, which they could implement inside the display. We're not sure if they are able to do it right now. This image was actually floating around Vivo and it's actually a Galaxy S8 Photoshop image, but something like this can happen. We can't say for sure what that massive change is. Uh, again, you can expect a significant change in the bezels. The front will look more futuristic, probably with no chin at all. That is something Huawei has done with the Mate 20 Pro, uh, but Samsung will do it without a notch. So that is a big win. A lot of people want to see a notchless display with no chin. Now this huge design change is further confirmed by a benchmark leak that shows a 19 by 9 aspect ratio screen. The code name SM405F, which is actually a fake name that Samsung used to hide the real model number. They do that in the past, so this device actually has a infinity display with a 19 by 9 aspect ratio compared to the 18.5 by 9 on the current Galaxy S8, S9, and Note 9. This further confirms that S10 will have a better skin to body ratio and less bezels. Now, another thing that the CEO confirmed is that the Galaxy S10 family will have amazing colors. We already know that these are the colors that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will be made available. And this is for all the Galaxy S10 variants, so it's not limited to the specific model. And it's been said that it will surpass the beauty of Huawei's gradient colors. So Samsung is doing something amazing with the colors. We actually saw the gradient colored Galaxy phone that was the Galaxy A9 Star in China. Uh, but hopefully Samsung will do something precious with the S10 as well. Again, it will be made available across all the Galaxy S10 models. Personally, I am looking forward for that emerald green color that looks absolutely insane and it's going to be the best for the 10th anniversary beast. Now, as far as the pricing is concerned for the 5G model, uh, it could be the most expensive smartphone even more than the iPhone XS Max. The Korean media Bell has reported that Samsung will release a 5G version of the Galaxy S10 Plus that could make the iPhone XS look cheap. Okay, so that is a bit far. I mean, nothing can make the iPhone 10s look cheap. I mean, this thing is crazy expensive, especially outside of US. But uh, good thing is that if Samsung launches something expensive, the price will be the same here in the Asian region. So we don't have to pay like the extra tax or something because Samsung officially operate in a lot of countries. So that's a big good plus point with Samsung. The reason why it's going to be expensive is that this S10 Plus 5G model requires four to five more antennas than the current 4G models, hence it could become the most expensive Samsung phone or a phone in general, beating out all the other models. So it can have a $1,600, $1,700 price. Not sure about that, but it said that it's going to be very expensive. And they further confirmed that the display for the S10 Plus 5G is going to be 6.4 inch, and it will have two cameras on front and three cameras on the back. So that was the official confirmed stuff, the colors, the three cameras, the new design change, the full list of models through the official software. Lots of stuff is now officially confirmed 
from these official Samsung leaks. Now, we have some official news regarding the Galaxy F as well, the foldable phone that Samsung will be announcing in November. Samsung has filed a trademark that says the future unfold. They applied for it yesterday at the European Union Intellectual Property Office, EUIPO, in order to protect this trademark, the future unfold. And this will most probably be used for the Samsung Galaxy F, but the actual document doesn't mention the use of a phone. So it says that this trademark is for household appliances such as vacuum cleaner, washing machines, LED displays, LED lamps. Uh, this is probably because they want to hide the name of the phone or phone in general. Either way, we're going to see the first glimpse of the Samsung Galaxy F in November. So super excited for that. And lastly, the 4X phone. Guys, I've been getting a lot of comments about this. Yes, the 4-camera Galaxy phone is indeed coming. 4 cameras on the back. It's not 2 on front or 2 on the back. No, it is 4 cameras on the back of the phone. And it's coming on October 11. Based on the leaks, this is how it will look. It's going to be called as Galaxy A9 Star Pro. I will make a full video talking about its specs and everything once I gather every information I need. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. As for the Samsung Galaxy S10, the design change, the colors, the four models, triple camera stuff, it's all happening for real. Get excited, guys. It is going to be a hell of a phone. I can't wait for Samsung to bring the ultimate heat in next year because foldable phone, Four Galaxy S10 variants, 5G. I mean, I can already see Samsung winning the race in a lot of different areas. So yeah, this is everything that is officially going to happen from the software release, thanks to the software reveal, plus the words coming from the CEO himself. We can definitely say that it is official and I am excited. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about the Galaxy S10 model? Which one are you most excited about? And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.